We're going. All right. I'm chopping. We're chopping some lumber right now. My crap. Oh, yo, that's a cool. Yo. <laughs> now I gotta use my fist. Then I'm starting off the game right now. This is the start of the podcast, so I have to start from the bottom because we're here. <laughs> start from the bottom. Now my whole team here. It's a my crap. Oh, that, that's Just a good You're going hard and shit. Yeah. Green screen. Start, start <laughs> punching creepers and shit. <laughs> I'm putting it through you now, bro. I'll tell Yo. You. Yo. today oh good oh i just started it right that's that's what you wanted yeah okay look like, perfect I, I knew my all role right how we doing how Dude, we doing I'm feeling honored to be on this fucking podcast oh Yee! It's, it's, it's been like sparking my spirit like ever since we are creating this uh creating this thing this damn route so man welcome today we are here with a very very diverse chill unique intelligent um and artistic individual I am uh, autistic, yes. I said autistic? No, no, I'm just joking. I'm oh, fucking with you. Okay. No, I was like, okay. I am autistic. No, uh, I'm fucking with you. I'm just kidding. I'm artistic autistic. individual. Uh, we are here with Eli, the creator, owner of Spooncast, uh, ED Art, and more as we discuss. So please uh, let people know who you are, man. I know I said yeah. Eli, but please let people know. Hell, dude. Thank you, man. The first off, I just want to say thank you, man. You're yeah, awesome. Yeah. I, guys, yo, support this man first off because he's a great <laughs> individual himself. Thank you for the praises, man. Hey, I actually, appreciate before we go into oh, okay, okay. Eli gave us some stickers today with the uh, Spoon. I uh, Spawncast. 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 Like spontaneous. Spontaneous. Okay. Yeah. Spontac. Okay. Spawncast. Spawncast. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm no, going to no, do this no, shit real quick. I, yo. Red eye material yo. real quick. Yo, Spawn the official cast. red eye. Spawn cast. Yeah. It's gotcha. just like, yeah. Because like, when I was stoned as fuck, I was just like thinking, I was like, yo, spon- like spontaneous. Because I just yeah, like, cause, you know what I mean? We've talked about like, we just like, you know what I mean? Just in our, pro- our episode, we just hop from topic to topic. You know what I mean? It's just like, I don't, this is how I am. This is how it, okay. my brain be. But wait, let me look at this dope ass shirt. You yeah, just yeah, gave yeah, me yeah. Yo, I love the, is that, dude, that, I love the, um, the font. Hella. Appreciate it. Yo, then the design, the back's even better. Yeah. Yo, shout out to Red Eye. Red yeah. Eye Club. Thanks for the love. That's where we at. Dude, I kind of want to wear this right now. Yeah, yeah. Just, you, got to, you got to. I'm going to rep it when I get out of here, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, Thank yeah. you, man. Let though. everybody know who you are, though, real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, my fault, my fault. Okay, um, so, guys, uh, I'm Elijah. Uh, Elijah DeAndre, wherever, Eli, wherever you want to call me. Um, but I'm a podcaster, artist. Just uh, an in- individual like everyone else, you know, especially like you, man. Like, I love, I, like we were talking about, I love seeing what you're doing right now, especially this podcast, too. I know you were talking, you were saying you were in the works already when we had the podcast, when we were talking about my podcast. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, that's what, and talking about podcasts, like, that's the reason I did my podcast was to, you know, kind of expand my, like, horizons of, sorry, I'll just put on the oh, phone so it'll vibrate. <laughs> um, but it's to talk to individuals like yourself and entrepreneurs and you get to pick your brains mm-hmm. and, learn from years perspectives you know because it's yeah, like there's yeah. so many different ways of success in people's eyes you know so damn it's cool right. to see like and learn myself of like learn a piece of myself through someone like oh damn like i can do like if i do it this way i can learn and use it in like a life's challenge or something that i had along the way that i could have used or now can utilize an extra tool I don't know, and it's cool that that's a tool to like alchemist mode type stuff. Have you ever read? It? Yeah. Oh, the al- wait. The alchemist, uh, ever? You ever nah, read that book before? Nah. It's the just alchemist. It's about what you're talking about, just going to people and and discussing about their experiences and stuff, and trying to learn from, or not even trying to learn, uh, picking and learning things from their experiences that they're telling. You. So the man, I, I, that's really inspirable. I never heard that book. What is it? Tra- it like it's a traveler, just like yeah, a nomad. Yeah, it's like it's like a nomad, and like it's, it's set in Egypt. Yo, and, yeah, damn, it's, it's it sounds really mad book. familiar, man. I'll, I'll, to look, I'll look it up after this. Yeah, right? I listen to audio books, man. Oh, yeah, okay, that's yeah. what I do. So, um, can you? Is that what you would describe Spooncast or a spawn, yeah. Spawncast? Yeah, yeah. I gotta but, get right, adjust my tongue for it. Nah, you're pause. good. <laughs> <laughs> pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spawncast. <laughs> nah, spawn you're good. It is, it is, dude. There's so many. Dude, you're not the only one. There's so many people who will go up to me, like even in public, which is crazy too. And they'll be like, "Yo, it's Spooncast." I'm like, "Oh yeah, it's spawn. Yeah, it's fine." It's not even two O's in it too. No, no, nah, but it's funny. It's funny though. Oh, there's like people like oh, I don't know if people butchered your name or you know what I mean. You're just like, mm-hmm. how do you mess that up? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? This is how. Be. but um with 
Spawncast, it's I guess it is exactly like that, the, the alchemist. Um, just me traveling and venturing out and finding, it, it almost like, I don't, I don't know, it's just going out there and finding myself and like what I'm capable of and hopefully in turn, like, it's like, a, it's like a time capsule too for myself, like to look back on, but I feel like it also is, I hope is like what my goal is to help others out there who are listening to like take advice from these people's stories, you know, yeah, and hopefully motivate them to get out of their comfort zone. Maybe even if it's just like, or at least get to hopefully the correct path of self love and stuff like that. Cause like, that's my journey too. I feel like Spawncast is, is, you know, it's phases of my life. Like, you know, beginning it was even Spawncast. It was grand rising. That was how I where it stopped. That. Yeah, that was the mm-hmm. beginning. And now I just use Grand Rising as like a side episode thing. Mm-hmm. And then Spawncast is the main thing. Because oh, Grand Rising is cool and all, but it's just more solo. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm not the person to kind of just like try yeah. and ram- I don't know. It's, but yeah, I, don't, I, like yeah. do, I like podcasting. Personal man. messages to people. Yeah. 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 That's what's up. That was really cool. Yeah, I like it though. It's, so when, when did all this start like uh, formulating? Uh, probably two, three. Yeah. <clears throat> sorry three years probably two three years now mm-hmm. uh yeah because it was 20 yeah 2020 so yeah two almost three years now because i can't believe it's already almost 2023 now yeah it really is mm-hmm. unless like i think like a month and a half left yeah yeah Maybe, it's you know, like that hey time flies when you're having fun yeah <laughs> I swear and that's a good statement actually um man i got some notes on you real quick. yeah hell yeah do you think dude um so where do you where do you kind of you've already discussed like you traveling with, with um, the podcast, but can you see it like further than what you're seeing? What are you kind of seeing? Where are you gonna land? Like places you gonna land from this? Oh, okay. Like a, is this like a, almost like a five ten year plan kind of question, or is it just more yeah. of just like my feel? All right, yeah. or, just, or just my goals I set for myself. Okay. Well, I hope my my goal. You ever we ever watched. Uh, all gas no breaks podcast i think i've seen it a couple of times it's on uh, youtube and uh he was like he I, th- I forget the full thing i've only seen parts of it it's funny because some people say i they are, i remind them of narwar mm. that okay. podcaster yeah, yeah, that's yeah. got something i would want to do is just kind of just go around and just like interview people like that's a side thing i do too like which is another podcast part of my podcast is another cast where i just do like dumb side shit mm-hmm. and just post that but like I can see myself just like with the podcast anyway is me being able to travel across the country and talk to individuals just across the country and get to hear how diverse America is. You so know? were you always this this type of, uh, I guess, uh, social? Or this, did a podcast like help you break a lot of social barriers for you? That's a good question. That's a really good question. Uh, yes, actually. Dude, not going to lie, bro. I would be nervous as fuck. Like, like before, like... Before COVID, literally, like, 2019, like, before, like, I was, like, I was always questioning myself on to do social stuff. Like, I would always, like, people would always, I, I think it's just, like, I think it's something that creators face is yeah. just, like, the self, uh, the self-doubt and the beat, like, this, like, always, I think everyone, not even just creators, just everyone, you know, humans, you know, we always are just so down on ourselves. And we exactly. And I feel like that definitely caused, uh, which I'm still working on now, is, like, the, the way I speak and how to translate my emotions and stuff out to the people. And I feel like, like you said, it's definitely breaking borders for yeah, me to do better. It's very important for that stuff, man. It's very important to understand like how, how you, um, how this can change and how it is changing you sometimes. So it's actually a great uh, gratitude moment, in my opinion, to sit back and just realize, damn, like I, I came like a long way from where I used to be, especially on a social, a social standpoint. Really? Like, a lot of people don't even, can't even feel comfortable with like holding or even, uh, approaching for a conversation so I it, it's dope seeing or hearing you say that this kind of changed you more into like a, a more social social uh, adaptable person I guess yeah to and say and I, I was gonna you know tell the same thing with you with your podcast you know mm-hmm. what I mean it's a whole it's a whole new rally it's a great and you're already doing great ways to bring people to talk and community you know community wise anyway especially with yeah, you. yeah definitely man I think I was telling a lot of people when I, I came back here about yours, and it's like, yeah, yours is like something unique about it. Everybody has like a uniqueness about their podcast, and man, yours is just like a comfort, uh, a real comfortable state. Is something I can't really explain. It's just um, yeah. when I when I you know went 
and and did the podcast with you, bro. Like for real, it's just like a comfortable state of mind. Dude, for real. Thank you. No, I I really appreciate that, man. And seeing like me earlier in my life would have taken that and been like, oh, nah, man, nah, fuck that, nah, you know, no, nah, man, man. You, that's not me. It's just like you, you probably just, but, but now it's like I'm starting to learn, like, hey, like. I am who I am, and I have to appreciate that and mm-hmm. love myself for who I am, and like, and I and thank I want to say thank you for that because I do appreciate that. No, you no, know, because definitely. that's what I want for my. <clears throat> no, sorry, everyone that's listening, guys. We are smoking earlier, and you know how that <laughs> con mouth gets you. But uh, they're like, "Fucking drink water, bitch." Uh, but uh, yeah, that's you know, what I mean, so, the podcast definitely changed me, and you know, it's done a lot, done a lot for me, and I hope to, you know, again, like I said, travel the country. Mm. And uh, then that's why I said I want to look for a mobile home, like a not a mobile home I already made, but like I want to buy a bus and build it and right, really to my, yeah, and do a studio and have you on and be like, yo, this is the new studio. Yeah, <laughs> and just travel with that. That was a really cool, uh, really cool idea. I just was seeing somebody who tripped the van out into like a uh, portable game or like you know his home home and gaming setup. It was pretty cool. Wait, the gaming side? Why does he have a whole PC? Yeah, PC setup in there. It's pretty Damn, dope. Verizon insane. internet. So it's like, man, yo, yeah, mama, he ain't lagging for shit yeah, in the middle of the real. woods. He, he's straight, man. Yo, he can be playing fucking Call of Duty with a bear right now. He is, uh, hold on, since we're on the yeah, woods oh, part. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> listen, uh, we're in the forest right now, first oh, of all. We're all right, in the forest. Oh, we chopping wood right now. We got to get the fire for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, what kind of kind of natural things you like doing? I saw what well, we were talking earlier about camping. Is that one of your, your top things you you love doing in the nature aspect i will say not gonna lie i would say i haven't done it in a year but snowboarding snowboarding dude i do there's a son about it where mm. have you ever done it no skis none and just because you said it right now yeah. I'm, I'm i'm gonna have to try it yo you're gonna fall on your ass i'm mm-hmm. telling you now multiple times inevitable bro wait did, did you skateboard though yeah. or surf mm-hmm. i skateboard oh then oh then i think you'll definitely get a better hang of it then because mm-hmm. it's just it's mostly the balance game you know what I mean? Just finding your balance. It is getting used to having yourself being a unibody with the snowboard. You know what I mean? Not having yeah. much mobility with your legs. That okay. is something that you to get used to. But it once you find, once you go through the like that, like all the falls and shit, and you finally get like a nice glo- like when you get that first nice S turn, and you're just gliding for even just like two minutes, three minutes, dude. It's just a whole new world, bro. Because it's just. You get to look up in the, and you see the mountain, the mountain view, all the trees, and uh, oh, it's, I think it just all I think comes down to appreciation of the moment because mm-hmm. really you are just focused on your balance and stuff. So it's like once you find the way where you're balanced, you don't have to focus on that anymore. You get to actually enjoy the views around you, and you're just like, wow, damn, like Earth is beautiful. I'm about to man. clip that this whole part. Really, that oh. was a really cool ass like like gratitude moment. You know, yeah. like man, I'm just. I'm glad to be here. Dude, if you want, dude, I'll let you know when I plan the fucking trip. Yeah, I'm trying to go. Um, that's a nothing. I've been there, but I didn't snowboard, though. Or oh, shit. Sure. Well, next time you, we snowboarding. <laughs> yeah, for snowboard. real. Um, can you kind of say, does nature help with your art? I see your your art page, mm. and I'm really inspired, inspired by, like, your art form. Real, does, thanks. like, nature help induce? Um... Yeah, I would say yes, and then no. It's just like I'm trying to honestly think of like times is when I thought of like the put pieces. I I think it was just like from pure just like when I'm isolated, alone, like you know, and like I'm going through emotions. I just need to find a way to let it out, like mm-hmm. and just I'll just let it out. But like nature is a part. Like you know, what I mean, there'll be times I'll be out in nature while I meditate and just be like, boom. Oh. A paint an art style or something like that but i don't know cartoon i think it's also the way the cartoons we grew up with too. that's why I, I was about to say yeah. also the, the cartoon comic books or uh what kind of cartoons okay. were you interested in um Yu Gi Oh. facts that Yu-Gi-Oh? was my top like growing up Yu-Gi Oh was my shit i'm oh, sorry my phone there you go you go that's just my fucking get shit done um Oh. i think it's kind of the typical shit like four kids now you remember four kids tv like the network every Saturday morning you wake up to. For, yeah, yeah, just actually, be like yeah, be Power Rangers, all that. Yeah, yeah. but mm-hmm. it was kind of like that. So think of like a good chunk of those shows, uh, Cartoon Network, Kids Next Door, you know. Kids Next Door is my damn. Yeah. My damn. That was a great I, fucking show. It man. really was, man. Really I kind of want to rewatch the old shows and see how dark, like the real, like. The real thing. reality. Yeah, because yeah, you know what I mean? Think about it, like as kids, we don't have that mindset. Like looking, even on the kids shows now and seeing all like the little 
like adult humor they'll put under there that mm-hmm. the kid the kids over their head just don't even understand. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. You know the '90s were wild too back then. They and they did a lot of that too. Yeah. How about comic books though? Uh, Naruto and okay. manga. Like I was more into manga because my uh, my sister, my older sisters were well. My oldest, my second oldest sister was uh, into manga, and you know she got me into it. And Naruto was my number one, and that's I will say I probably did. Obviously, it's not the same art style, but I think just like again that got me into that path of going into anime and like cartoon style, like more into that manga and stuff like that. Like I would say my favorite anime is Trigun, right now. Trigun, Trigun yeah, okay. great show. But yeah, I would say that definitely has an influence on my uh, my art. I'm trying to get more into it now. Actually, it's funny you say that because. I actually just got a call from someone before I came here. Um, uh, they want to cover. They want some cover art for their new single. And I know that look. Don't know what to watch. Scrolling forever. Just tapping at the remote. Did you know we're streaming on Twitch? Yep, we are streaming live on Twitch TV. Head to Twitch TV and search up our names. Give us a follow, and please turn on notifications so you know when we're streaming. We're touching back into our core roots. Of how everything even started with opposite red eye and pit cartel. So please don't fall asleep scrolling all night. Please enjoy and let's get back into the video. What are four core values you you hold over yourself highly? Oh damn. Hold with yourself with yourself highly. No, it's so wild. I Damn, I'm like, really, that's a good fucking question. Um, the first thing, I'm just going to go with the first thing that comes to my head is wisdom. And the reason I say wisdom is the wisdom to understand that I'm never right. And to know that I can always learn. Mm-hmm. Like, there's always a, no matter how old I am. Because there's a lot of people, especially when you work like a nine to five, that you meet. And they'll be at that age where it's like they think they know everything or just... The ign- I guess you could say ignorance, right? But ignorance, like, yeah. But that's sign I would say wisdom. Um, he, uh, respect. Because that's just, you know, something that I just, you know, treat others the way you would like to be treated. Mm-hmm. You know, so just self-respect. Is sign- and that's a journey I'm still learning myself is just like the self-love. Like going back to like this podcast, too, and that's what helped me change is to be able to communicate more of what I want in understand like I need to find out my needs to make myself better yeah and people can call it conceited but I think it's just self-care and you have to do that for yourself is to take time for yourself and just like you know some you know do what you need to do you know you have to take care of your health mental and physical and uh you know I would say you know respect you know to self and others is a is a great highly good one um and the next two Damn, this is actually hard because I never actually like really said these are some fucking good questions. I never Wisdom, really said self respect. That's a really good ones too. So, uh, um, so, I don't know why it keeps coming to my head. It's like humanity, humility. I think humanity is just like trying to like is. And I think this is something that was just ingrained, but from like being like with living with my mom and stuff, it's just like just having the understanding of others. Like, like and I think that's also going through like. Me growing up, I was lucky to travel a lot. Like, my family, like, we heavily traveled, like, outside the country and inside the country, which gave me a perspective of, like, damn, like, I am humbled to be where I am today. Like, even this very moment, like, talking with you is a very yeah, humbling, yeah. and I love it. And it's, it motivates me, again, to see you, you know, same thing, like, first generation. Like, you know, I don't know, it's just, like, trying to, I don't know, it's, like, trying to make a difference. Like, the, the first, gener- like, a generation to make change, like, to actively, like, self like so, uh, not reliance. Um, light workers, the light, a lot of people call us well, the ones who shed light on people and, um, and give people the, the actual necessity of hearing or even seeing somebody like us too, mm-hmm. and uh, be like, damn, I can, I want to listen to them, and they listen to us and end up breaking through a darkness that they've been in, you know. Maybe like shedding light. I like that's why I like to call them, call us like light like uh, light workers. Light but, workers. I like that. Yeah. Um, and it's light work because we love helping others. Yeah. And, and I think right. that's just a human thing, mm-hmm. right? Just give um, them some light real quick. Yeah. Oh, beacons. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Uh, I love beacons. It's like in Minecraft. Mm-hmm. Pew! After yeah, you real. defeat the Nether Dragon, you get the fucking beacon. Yeah. For and this real. is the this is you know pit talks and this is the beacon. Pew. Yeah. You know, just have Spon- like us us like throw beacons. Spawncast was a beacon and. and uh, I, 
we can see each other, and that's what we're going to keep on doing is arriving and giving you guys more energy to set your beacon off. Facts. Yeah. yeah. That's a real fact right there. Yeah, MC. it is. And yeah. it's great because you have to go out there and because I know there's people who are afraid of the world for like, you know, the bad things, of course, especially now with like the news in your face throwing all the negative shit. But like you have to go out there and take the risk and find people that are the same like my, like That's mind. You know That's actually mean? cool that you said that. And what kind of what fuels your creativity? Oh, shit. I still I so I did. I still have one. I, I want to answer all your oh, questions because yeah, yeah, I did have yeah. humanity, which is basically the like trying to me. Of course, I have my day, but like I try to put myself in other shoes and understand there's more to. Yeah, exactly. But that's that. So that's three. And then four, I would say uh, just. Try to damn. See, there's so many that I want to put, but I think <laughs> but I'm just going to do this is be true, being true to myself. It's like trying to okay. just like no matter like just discipline myself. I guess you can put it down as discipline, like self discipline. Oh, oh wait, is that something I said already? Shit. No, I can say that. Though. Yeah, self discipline. Discipline. Yeah. yeah, I feel like to because a lot of times also I hear a lot too like you know what I mean from people too. Not a lot, but in general like that got me when I hear is just like do as I say, not as I do. Mm-hmm. And it's like why won't you do if you know it's right? Why won't you do it? You know, it's, and so that's what I want to be, you know, I still have a lot to learn. I'm not saying I'm fucking perfect at all. Yeah. I have a lot to fucking learn. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I want to try to be that example where my actions go with my words, you know. And discipline so. is a good form to help regulate that, too. Yeah. It's it, an amazing form. Mm. I, it's, I'm telling you, discipline is, is a very needed necessity and in, in becoming of who you need to be, you know. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm glad that was, like, your last... Yeah, um, I'm glad I was like one of your, one of your four because, bro, a lot of a lot of people don't really think about discipline a lot. Like telling yourself, you know it, about you're about to eat something that's bad, you know it's bad for you, but you're gonna eat it anyway. That's mm-hmm. like that's no that's that's no discipline. Mm-hmm. That's an example of no discipline. So that's like, a big one though, especially yeah. in the world. You know, the country, this country too. You know, a lot of people like the convenience of fast food. It's understandable, but. You know, that's, you know, that's a good example, too. Mm-hmm. You know, because you are what you put into your body, too. Exactly. I actually, man, I, I hold myself accountable of, like, everything I, um, I, I ingest into my body. So, um, like I said, I was about to ask you, what kind of fuels your, your urge to, to get it done or just to be cr- creative? Yeah. Honestly, fam, it's, uh, I think it's the self-hatred. Like, the inner self-hatred of yourself. Like, fuck you. Like, you can mm-hmm. fucking, do, like, don't waste your time. Okay. Honestly, that's, not, you know, I mean, that's facts. You know, they're, you know, I, because we all have talks with ourselves, you know. We have mm-hmm. to look in the mirror, you know, and s- are you happy with what you see? And, you know, a lot of times I'm like, damn, I wish I could be doing better. But then also going back to, like, what I'm saying is, like, I've learned to love myself is understand, like, I'm doing the best I can. But at least if I'm actively trying every day to do better mm-hmm. then i have to be at least happy for like you were saying looking back on yourself and like the progression and you know what i mean your whole but all this you know what i mean like imagine if you didn't do this bro like where yeah. would you be you um, know that's all that's why i'm happy to see, you know, see you doing this too man like it's only gonna get bigger man it really yeah that's 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 really dope that's really dope man, man that's really dope man bro. so uh you want to speak anything to existence right now Dude, I just buy my mama a house with me. I'm tell- I want- that's my like that's a motivator, and I like I'm gonna buy my mama a house, man. He's got it, yeah. Like I'm just trying to. That's my man. Like I want to be able to, you know, I want I want to be able to give back to the people who've done for me. You know, that's I- and not be and not have to worry about even that and I. That's that's why I want to manifest. I think it's the best thing is to be able to give, even though I'm do like. I try my best now, but to be able to give more than what they've done to me, give it to me, you know, mm-hmm. friends, family, you know, like through the journey that I've been through, it's just, I just want to be able to give back tenfold, you know, that's, that's why I want to manifest. That's it. Speaking of family, would you want to shout out anybody? Yeah. Um, yo, shout out to mom, dad, of course, you know, the creators, <laughs> y'all the shit, uh, you know, appreciate you guys for supporting me for all my craziness, uh, for what I do. Like, dude, I'd be like, I remember I hit up my mom like literally like a day before, like I just hit her up the night of and she's like, oh, you trying to eat dinner? I made some uh, shrimp mozambique. I'm like, oh, I'm driving to Michigan for, I'll be back. She's like, wait, what? You didn't even tell, like just doing spontaneous, like she's, 
I put, I, you know what I mean? I've definitely made my mom fucking, I've put my mom through hell at times, but, and that, and, you know what I mean? Just parents in general, like, you know what I mean? They go through a parents in general, man. You know, yeah, how, yeah, you, yeah. Know, you, you know, you just want to get back and show them how much you appreciate them for what they've done. You know? Yeah, so, how much of the journey you've yeah. been going real quick. Cool. Facts. So shout out to, just shout out to my parents, my family, and my friends out there, and my supporters, my new supporters, the people I've met along the way so far in Virginia and North Carolina, like yourself, man. Like, just want to say thank you, man. You know, because, I, I want to say thank you, but I'm going to do it through my action. Like, I want to do it through my actions. I'm a man like that, too, also, bro. For yeah, real. That's it. You know, that's it. all in it, yeah. It's just do the action, bro. For yeah. real. That's that's what's up. That's yeah. that's hardcore action, man. Because um, you send yourself a future message. So, like, you know, like, I guess, like, five years from now, you come back to this video, and you hear this message to yourself. What would you want to tell, tell you? I would say, you got this, man, and I love you. Just keep going. That's premium. That's it. That's it. You got it. You got this, fam. You got it, bro. You got to give yourself self-love. Yeah. Give yourself a time capsule of love, you know? Remember when you was right here. Keep going. Keep doing it. Remember when you got this fresh shirt from the Red Eye Club? <laughs> yeah! Chilling with the legend himself on the right of you. Well, on the left on the screen, I believe. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how it'd be. Yeah, but of the force, bro. Nah, it's I appreciate you know, even just being on here, man, being able to tell my story, you know, because yes. you know it's you're taking your time out of your thing to even have you know, and thank you, you know. It's it's honorable, you know, seriously. It's just, and that's why I hope on this journey when I see individuals like yourself, man, like I just want to see everybody win and you know, I wish more people had that mentality in general, but mm -hmm. I understand everyone has different upbringings and the thing people can, ch I, I guess that's the stupidity in me, I guess like I say, the non-real, I think that's the, ch the child in me, honestly, like is to ha always have the hope of people changing and things can always be on the brighter side in times. But I don't know, it's, because then of course you have to have that realism too, like they're always going to be hate in the world, there's always going to be anger, there's always going to be, you know what I mean, there's never going to be a peace, mm -hmm. you know, because there's, and then there's looking into a deeper perspective of like, what's peace to you? What's peace to me? What is peace to you? Peace is, yo, all of us ripping a bong in a, in a public beach, not having to worry about nothing. <laughs> no, not getting arrested. I don't know. Just, see, it's, it's different because I, I guess my freedom to make it base, basically simple is to be able to strive, be able to not be held back, held back to find ways to, toward toward happiness, like find the pursuit of happiness, I guess, to be able to find your happiness. And I guess, you know what I mean? Just kind of basic shit, man. You know what I mean? Just be human, do you, and just don't like, don't force, don't tell people shit. I don't know, yeah. it's, it's hard. I don't know. I feel so simple and cliche when I say are, it, you know? You so was like, actually talking about this on your recent podcast about what is freedom to you. And it's cool that you guys just said that right now because, um, Freedom can mean a lot of stuff, a lot of things to a lot of people. But freedom to you is just, just being you. Mm. Not killing That's anybody, you know, not harming anybody, just, just being you, you know? Mm. You know, you can, you can walk outside and your hair is like, fucking, like us, uh, there. Yeah, okay, I can like, imagine your hair day when you wake up in the morning. Yeah. The fucking pillow, fucking just straight flat. <laughs> the, we, to be outside and have that much comfortability in the world, you know? Mm. That's a that's a different, and while you were speaking earlier, as us people, as people like us, that's gonna help people become people like us. And as I was saying a lot, artists love artists, you know, because who doesn't understand artists more than artists? Right. Yeah. So, um, man, if we can start looking on more perspectives like that, like maybe uh, people will start understanding. I'm human, I make mistakes. They're human, you make mistakes. Your humanity uh, core values. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's just like, it was great core values you were stating there. Uh, I'm gonna have to re-listen and write them down. Discipline, <laughs> uh, self-love, humanity, and the first one. it was self-love in the first one. Self-love, honor. Wait, not honor, shit. Respect, no. Damn, I forget. I'm so. I'm sorry. I'm stoned. I forget my. <laughs> I'm, I forget my own. No, nah, man. Because that was good. shit that like just came out of my head. So it's humanity, discipline, 
So, uh, self love. I can't wait to go back to this video. Yeah, I'm there's a lot of people who's gonna it. probably come. Or I know there's a lot of people who's gonna come back to this video just to listen to some of the stuff you said in this video, man. Like, like you said, and you said some stuff to me that I'm gonna come back and like listen to my own, you know, cast and be like, damn, homie was speaking, homie was speaking. Mm. So I know that's gonna do it to me. I know that's gonna do it to a lot of people around this, around the world, most likely. Well, I thank, well, I thank you for even having me on. Give me the, the platform. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Sure, um, like, you know what I mean? Especially nowadays, a lot of people don't, even you know what I mean? even want to sit down with people in general because they might be afraid if they have like a different opinion or something. It's like you, like we forget that we can be civil and still have those heated debates and stuff. But mm -hmm. as long as we find, you know peace in the end and understanding of why we have these perspectives and it's not because of because everyone and that's another again like going to the perspective of freedom there's always a question of perspective of what's one, wrong and right mm -hmm. you know to each own you know but there's a murderer you know that wants to go out and kill 50 people and thinks that's right you know what i'm saying yeah. and the, like, it's that's what's so it's people i feel oh that was a 15. That was a, but uh, I think that's just how, uh, that's just, I don't know. Damn, I lost track. I, fuck you, Alarm. <laughs> but, no, but this is how, the, you know what I mean? This, that's what make, I think that's just what that makes the world, people are going to take it wrong, but like beautiful is because there's so many different possibilities and like, it's just never ending. You know, it's just so like, just on my drive here, I was just like, wow, like, just looking at farmland, I'm like, wow, like everything it takes just to let that happen. Like just to let the ger from the seed germinating, like even before that, like when the seed was calcifying, like mm -hmm. and from the font, from the apple or what, from the, we you know what I mean? So it's just like so many things that have, so many yeah, unique things that have to happen for us, even for us to be alive. And it's, you know, it's pretty mind mm -hmm. It's pretty fucking dope shit if you really think about it. Yeah. Or you don't go too deep, you might literally blow your mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And it's like an infinity, uh, infinite process. Mm. Infinite. So, um, could you give a message to everybody before we close out real quick? Yeah, just do the best you can for yourself and the communities around you because you know why? You fucking deserve it. All right? You fucking deserve it. Okay. Simple as that. You know, look yourself in the mirror and give yourself some a high five or something. You know, motivate yourself. You know, you're gonna be your best supporter at the end of the day. So, peace. might as well love yourself, right? Yeah, peace, God. <laughs> that man, for real. That is, that's that's sick, man. All right. Uh, Thank you for the shirt too, man. I love the fucking. Yeah. Shirt. I'm wearing. I'm literally taking this off and wearing this right after the show. <laughs> man, y'all, y'all definitely give. Spooncast. Spunk. And it, it said it in my head. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I love it. No, I love it. That could be a clip. Eli I'm going to keep that clip. Follow on all the socials that I'm about to link below. Please listen to the cast. Please listen to what he's been saying, what he's been doing. Go to the YouTube, watch the, the video, uh, the video documentation of it. Man, just enjoy this guy because he is a beacon, like I said. Um, you guys take care of yourself, be healthy, God speed to you, create them ideas, invest in yourself, and be yourself. We're gonna see you on the next one.